Good afternoon, YouTubers. New Time Travel Hi, me 88 I'm back with another video. And today, I'm going to show off another VHS comparison. This week, I am showing off two different versions of Warner Brothers comedy Gremlins on VHS. As what you see right here, I have two copies of Gremlins. On the left, I have the original 1985 VHS. Technically, it's a reprint. And on the right, I have the 1999 VHS. Well, Gremlins is one of the hilarious comedy sci-fi films of 1980s. Oh, yeah. Because I love it. And I've seen it on TV dozen times. Before we get to the comparison video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Julie Cassidy of Julie Let's Talk About Movies. Julie, if you're watching this, your videos are super awesome. Keep up the good work. Make sure you check out her channel on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description. So let's get on to the comparison video. We'll start off with the original release of the 1985 VHS of Gremlins. We're here, yep with Zach Gilligan, Phoebe Cates, also starring Hort Axon, Polly Holiday, and Francis McCain, Francis Lee McCain. The film is from 1984 and is directed by Joe Dante. Here we go. And I know it's part of the cate comedy category. The Gremlins are coming in a year's most bizarre comedy. And this film is rated PG and it's 106 minutes. It says Dolby Stereo on air, but here's a tape of Gremlins came in with the sticker label. And unfortunately, somebody forgot to rewind the tape, but I will rewind the tape when I finish done with this video. Says this time it's recorded on Adobe Surround Stereo digitally processed and, and it's closed caption. Here's the end label. There is a print date underneath the end label, which I'm gonna peel it off and see for myself here because it's two print dates. Let's let me peel it off and see. All right, one's from December 19th, 1990, and the other one's from December 20th. 1990 because this is a reprint all right and we put this tape back in there now let's move on to the 1999 VHS here's gizmo and here's a little one of the gremlins what you see isn't always what you get now on the, the original one the gremlins logo is blue on the reprint the Gremlins logo is red. Spine. Here's the other spine. 1996 Warner Shield logo or the Boring Shield logo. Here's the top. Here's the back. A who not to be missed, says David Aston of Newsweek magazine. Rated PG. And here's the tape with the ink label, and it's got the black reels, which is rare. And the print dates are later one from July 11th, 2005. This is rare because it has the black reels, and I'm so going to keep this. All right. Now, let me tell you what these two tapes opens up. Let's start with this copy. The 1985 VHS of Gremlins, which is a 1990 reprint, it has the, the warning screen, then the 1986 Warner Home Video logo with the Cheesy Shield fanfare, then the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo with the Warner Communication Presents variant and start of the movie. Oh yes. And at the end, it has the Big W logo at the end. So, or, or, the, or the regular shield, Warner Shield logo, which I haven't checked, but I'm going to check again. But this might have the low pitch black screen of death at the end. So, yeah. 
the 2005 reprint of Gremlins, which is a same masters from 1999, it opens up with the warning screen, the FBI warning screen, then a Warner Home Video Halloween videos preview, then it has a preview for The Cane of Eye, the animated one, then Shiloh 2, Silo Season, a preview for Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost. A preview for The Wizard of Oz, the 1996 Warner Home Video logo, and the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo without the Presents variant and start of film. And they forgot to put the, the formatted screen because this is pan and scan, like this one. And I know there is a sequel called Gremlins 2, which I don't have it, which I'm going to get it. However, this VHS copy of Gremlins did make an appearance in Gremlins 2, in which Leonard Maltin showed this copy in a parody of The Movie Police. <laughs> because the second film is one of my favorite. The first one is okay. The second one is my favorite because it has Robert Picardo and because it got Hulk Hogan and a theatrical cut. But I know on the home video, it is different because it has uh, John Wayne in there. That's odd. Well, I know they included it as an Easter egg on a DVD. But if you're like Gremlins, check this out. You will not be 100% disappointed. An interesting fact, this set of Gremlins was also was showing the set when it went to town. That's what also reused for Back to the Future, the first film for 1985, because they used the same set, reuse, they filmed a Gremlins, and then later they reused the same set for Back to the Future, that part town of Hill Valley, because that's what's filmed in the back lock of Universal Studios. All right, that's it for this week's comparison video, and I'll see you in the next video.